I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic! We'll take all the Pokemon we want! Yeah, okay, we got some grunts here that need to be taken down, and of course, Riley and me are gonna do it. Anyway, we got six Pokemon, Zubat and Glammeow. Uh -huh. I'm gonna hope you go for Force Palm on Glammeow so I can Ice Punch the Zubat. But yeah, see, so yeah, a tie is just gonna really. I'm just gonna ha give some tie some fun here. Hooray! Lucario goes for Metal. Yeah, you were attacking the Zubat. Uh. Lucario, Riley, why? Why, Riley, why? Ty leveled up to level 41. Awesome. Everyone is at least level 41 except Jaren, and yeah, again, Jaren is going to have some time to do that soon enough. Honestly, Jaren's gonna probably over-level when, when we do the ice route, to be bluntly honest. Like, easily. I don't really... Okay, here's where I'm worried. No matter what, both Pokemon can do a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for the Krogunk with Ice Punch. I'll do neutral damage. I'm hoping to one-shot. Okay. For the love of God, Lucario, go for Bone Rush or Force Palm. Yes! Okay. I was hoping it wouldn't go Metal Claw again, because Metal Claw would be resistant and Houndour might actually survive that. But, yeah, I needed Houndour to go down. That was probably the most dangerous thing he, the, the, the Grunts had against uh, Ty. Stunky. No. <laughs> no. Ice Punch on Glo on Golbat. I said, did I say Globat? Golbat. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Dad, Stunky is just a Stunky. Force Palm, that's fine. Bone Rush would have probably done even more damage, actually. But either way, almost one shot. Lucario, you have been surprisingly not very helpful. <laughs> well, sort of. You, you've been weirdly both helpful and not helpful at the same time. Like, you just barely don't KO stuff for some reason. It's kind of driving me crazy, because you should be a lot more dangerous than you are. Granted, you have Quick Attack for one of your moves, when, honestly, normal Lucario's would have a lot better. Stop, I said stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokémon. And the door's opening. Uh... Hold on a moment. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Thanks, really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you? Oh, wait, I don't have a slot. Okay, okay, this is a Riolu egg. So if you want to have Lucario, this is the only one in the game. What the? Bug! Even a bug is interrupting my recording sessions. <laughs> nah. And I have to min minus like three minutes off my time for how long I want the video to be here. From <sighs> Anyway, shiny stone, good for evolving a few Pokemon. I think that's how you get rose red. And over here, metal coat. And this is also the room I think you get Registeel with, with that particular event. And again, metal coat. Hooray. This is also for po evolving Pokemon. And anyway, I think that's it for Iron Island, so, uh, not much else to do, I think, in the region right now, because, oh yeah, I'm going to really quickly do one more thing before we go to the ice routes. I want to go get that one item real quick, because I, I just remembered it. Also, there are Pokemon in this water here. I think it's Sea Kings and Gold Ducks, maybe. 
I don't remember. To be honest, I don't care. And we're to Lake Verity. Sure. Water is a deep blue color. Let's surf. Right across. And we get a TM for Fire Blast. Which is pretty cool. Now, uh, I don't remember if the Valor Lake is back to normal or not yet. You know what? Let's go check real quick, because it won't take that long to do that. <sighs> okay. Wait. I should probably... Probably heal. But yeah, the, um... But this will be the last thing I'm really going to be checking, because a lot of the rest of the... S there is a couple of things we could go do, I suppose, but... Eh... You know what? I'll make this a last filler part, just to make it so we don't start the snow route until next part. Because there is one last thing we could do. Like, there is one last bit of backtracking, I suppose, and it's actually right here. There's a, there's a water route right down here. I'm going to check Lake Valor first, though, so uh, I guess I'll go do that real quick. That doesn't take very long because we got the bicycle. Not in here, but we got the bicycle. <laughs> Let's go get it. Those we can't get till we have rock climb. Nope, still can't do it. Okay, well. Yeah, okay, you have to wait till after, I think, one of the later sections to go do that. We'll do that when we get, when we do the, um, lake spirits and catch them later on in the game. That's significantly later on in the game, but, you know. Either way, it's time to surf. Let's see, who should I have in the front here? Um, there is going to be probably a bit of fighting, but hopefully not. I don't really want to fight that many more trainers. Let's super repel, and let's start looking around here. And enter a water route of... Uh, yep, there are. I actually almost totally ignore this area every single time I play the game, because it's not that important, to be honest. But it's here, and Psyduck. Really? I'm 31. <laughs> Great. You're difficult. Not really. <sighs> you have Azumarill and Psyduck. Okay. I mean, I like Azumarill a lot, actually. Although mostly in later generations, more than this one. Okay. Okay. Double edge. But that was okay. Well, um, great. War of Attrition! I win. You know what? Screw you. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. Fight him. Oh, I could have double battled this. Well, never mind. <laughs> now, I do want to get that item. I'll, I'll fight that sailor on the way back. 
he, he probably just has Wingulls and Pelippers, so I don't really care too much about showing it. Uh, you have... Mm, yeah, you're not gonna... Be... You have Confusion. Wow, what up, strong psychic? Oh, come on! Whoa, confused you. And it hurt itself and it's confusion, and then confusion attack again. I, I, I love, I love Gold Duck. I truly love it as much as I love getting whacked in the head with a stick. That was the only thing I could think of without you're going into the violent. Anyway. Or going into Half-Life jokes. Although, let's face it, Half-Life jokes sucks. So who cares? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Huh. But anyway, aside from me rambling about random stuff, we're just gonna- Oh, come on! Oh god, we're doing fury swipes! Oh, okay. Two. Okay, just two. Can I go now? Finally. I hate gold duck. Level 42. No. Oh, good for Batman. You know what? I don't care. Tank, go wreck stuff. I mean, I don't really want to use Tank too much because I don't want to get him way too above. But at the same time, I don't want to bother. I just want to get the items. <laughs> go duck. <sighs> You're totally gonna see. Yup, yes, you do. Okay. I want that item. Alright. What do you have? Two Pokemon. Fenion. Okay, cut. Alright, and we get a water stone for our efforts. Good if you want to evolve your. Eevee into Vaporeon. For some ungodly reason, because let's face it, on. Okay, uh, if you like Vaporeon more than the other evolutions, fine. But I'm gonna say right now, to be blindly honest, it is probably the least useful evolution. Not because it's bad, no, don't get me wrong, but it's a water type. There's oh, so many water types. There are literally, like, there are more water types than, like, any other type. Like, they are easily- it is easily the biggest type. Like, second biggest is nowhere close. It's- they, you're basically- Vaporeon is a decent- it's a pretty good- okay, it's a good water type. The problem is, is that that's not rare. Like, you will always have plenty of good water types. And Sano has pretty good water types. Like. Floatzel, Gastrodon, Tentacruel, and there's quite a few others. It's like, great, you're a good water type, but that's common as hell. There's so many good water types in this game. Like, that has always been one of my biggest problems with Vaporeon, is honestly just, I love it, I like its design, I like all the Evolution's designs. I love the Evolution's death, it's just... It's honestly, he's just not, he's, it's kind of just, he's kind of the most generic one. He's really just a good water type. But the problem is that there are so many good water types. And if you have the access to Eevee, Eevee has so many better choices for just a team, you know, for a team in which you basically can set up with some of the t types that are harder to find, like Dark, Psychic, you know, Fire, Electric, you know. Grass and ice, I suppose. Later on, fairy. You know, and fairy, like, dang. And like, okay, wait, that was a mod joke. Oh, God. But, uh, it's like, it's just that problem of 
I feel like out of all the evolutions, Vaporeon is kind of just the least helpful because it's like, yay, you're a decent water type, you got some decent what bulk, you got ice, you can have access to ice beam, you got access to some pretty good water moves, you know, all that good stuff, just like most water types. So it's like, great, you could have that Vaporeon, but you could also have like Castrodon, which does the same if not better. You have access to Tentacruel, which can do the same. You've got Float Soul, which is a physical version, essentially. With access to Aqua Jet, which Vaporeon never gets. You know, it's like... Just... There isn't a real point. Like, there really isn't. Like, most of the time, Vaporeon just doesn't fit well on my teams, usually. Especially just because it's like... Great, I've got access to Vaporeon, but I've also got access to Tentacruel and all these other water types. Why do I want to do this again when I just could go for the Pokemon that are harder to get good types for? Again, it's just a thing of, I feel like Vaporeon just gets kind of overshat- Oh, it's just kind of a bit under helpful. Just because, again, it's, it's so easy to get good water types. So it's like, great, you're a decent water, you're a good water type. Like, you are good, you're better than some of the ones that we have access to, like, two, like, we're many on. But it's like, great, so is all the other Pokemon we have. There's so many water types. I can learn Metal Claw. Okay. Um, get rid of Agility for that. Um, that's not massively helpful, but that will be decently helpful. Pi actually legitimately has use for that. Hmm. Okay, Shar you surf. Let's slip in here. Repel's effect wore off. Who re <laughs> Excuse me. Gyarados. Okay, I'm kind of running low on time, so I'm just going to actually just cut, because I don't care. We've seen Gyarados quite a few times, and honestly, it's not as scary as it used to be. <laughs> I may have fainted, but so did you, sucker. Well, yeah, Ice Fang. Hooray. Ty got experience, though. Yay, Ty, he got experience. Uh, go Shari. Well, and Tank didn't, which is actually decent, because I don't need Tank getting way too high leveled. Okay! Another Gyarados. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to cutting, because I don't want to waste all this time. This person's team is nothing but Gyarados! Okay, Shari, I might sacrifice you here. Uh, uh, I hate, I hate Gyarados. Ice Fang. Ugh, that hurts. Oh, Ice Beam. I'm gonna hope to take this thing down. Okay. If you be stupid, I win. Twister, that might be a stupid move. Yes, it was. Awesome. Oh, yes. I did it. Gyarados is down. More experience for Shari. Putting Shari pretty close to level 42. Awesome. <sighs> and I think... I think... This is the last item. A Max Revive. Pretty good. Anyway, guys, next time, we'll be doing the Ice Roots. Oh, boy. See you guys next time.